Now, in most cases, the, uh, the simple herring function, which I showed you in the previous film, is will, will suffice for most occasions. But there are times when you'll get really complex designs, and you think, well, you know, how do we how do we put that together? And this is where I show I'm going to show you how you can build what's called we call a block herring design. And the way we do that is um, you create a block of tiles first. So what I'll do, just so that we can see what's going on, is I'll put a, a pretty large repeat on here so that we get lots of space to see what's going on. And I'm going to put in a tile that's um, four by one. I'm going to follow that with a tile which is one by a half. And I'm going to position that at four one. Uh, four naught, I should say. To increase the repeat so just so we've got lots of space to see what's going on so what I've got first of all here is a long thin tile a smaller piece there and I'm going to put another tile of the same size underneath that so that's going to be four and then it's going to be moved down a half so what will happen is this tile will appear there and then I'm going to follow that with a tile four by one at position five because that's four. Then there's a one one wide. So the next tile wants to go in here. And again, I'm going to increase this repeat so that we can see exactly what's going on. So if you look, what these four tiles produce is this effect: one long, one here two short pieces and a long one. Now, when I now put in the, the command block herring, what I can do is I can take these four pieces which have been effectively made into one strip and create copies of them which come down 90 degrees and then a herring bone pattern on that. So if I just show you how that works, block herring, and then what I do is I need to get the previous one, two, three, four tiles. So I do block herring four. Actually my mistake that uh, command is herring block. So it's herring block and the previous four. And there you can see what it's done is we've got one strip out here and then another strip down here and then they get to pull out across the entire floor. Now um, I won't bother putting colors involved in that but we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. So if we now apply that to the room again that is now although it's it, quite a simple design to try and do that in the old um, Calidus designer would I would say would be virtually impossible but again with tile script this is just trying to give you an example of what you can do with just a few lines of code we don't need the repeat in there now um, that's one thing to bear in mind is that the block the herring block design actually works out the repeat for you so you don't have to sort of try and fiddle around with it because believe me it's it would be not be easy to work out if I put in some colors to that uh, green blue yellow orange help if I could spell green blue green blue yellow cyan see I'm beginning to now fill the system back up with these colors and they go back into the system so there we are we're getting it sort of colored in and at the same time as always with this thing once it's quantified you also get all the quantities that you need in here incidentally if you look at this particular tile um, we've got the tiles per box which applies to every element in the system so the tiles you know when you've got the tiles per box at this point you know you've got one setting for the tiles per box but everything else 
you know all these features still apply to the tile grid even though it's been created from tile script so again this is um it's one of those features that you won't use every day but when you do get a particularly awkward herringbone there's something you can do with it there is one example where this where this really does help is when you've got um, a herringbone that just meets in the middle of the room and that's the only place it meets what we can do then is i can put in let's say mono so we want a monolithic block four by one and i want uh, let's say 10 by one and let's see what we get first of all again i'm just going to put in a, a very large repeat so that we can see what's going on oops that wants to be one row by 10 across now although that might not be immediately obvious what we've got here is a strip of tiles that are going along here we'll clear out the colors and then i change that into a herring block and because there are we've got one row by 10 there are actually 10 tiles in this mono block so i want to create that into a herring and there what you can see is that we've got strips here going out 10 pieces down 10 pieces meeting in the middle of the of the area here so if i put that to the more sensible figures here i'll just leave it as they are i'll put them as 0.5 so it's a bit bigger uh press ok on that press ok on that clear the product and there you've got this sort of classic design where it runs through the room but all the pieces come up and again this this is something that would be i would suggest impossible um, with the standard calidus designer but with the tile script you can do it in effectively two lines of code so you're just creating a horizontal strip of tiles and then saying herringbone them and again this as I saw in the previous example that I showed you this can be a composite of all sorts of different pieces so you know designers getting very creative these days and I think with some of these tools you'll be able to keep up with them